Today, I want to address an issue that I see coming up more and more in online Etsy communities, and that is the issue of reserves, your account being put on some sort of reserve. Now, this hasn't happened to me personally, but I see it happening very often these days. So I want to cover all of the information from Etsy today about what a reserve is and how it happens, the why behind why it happens, so that if it happens to you, you will know why and you will be able to hopefully fix the issue so that they will then remove that reserve or you'll understand why they've put the reserve there and you'll understand when it's going to be removed. If you don't know me, my name's Jess Van Den. I've been selling on Etsy since 2008 and I've been full-time since 2010, selling my handmade jewelry under the Ethereum label and since 2013, helping other makers through my business Create and Thrive, where I have a podcast, this YouTube channel, a membership community, the Thriver Circle, as well as various courses and things like that. Okay, so let's start with what a reserve is. To quote directly from Etsy, a reserve is an amount of money pending settlement as indicated in your payment account. A reserve will be placed on your account if we believe there may be a high level of financial risk associated with you, your account, your business model, or your transactions. So let me just go through that again a high level of financial risk for them associated with you, your account, your business model, or your transactions. So they've given you the four basic sort of areas that they're looking at here. Then they say, when a reserve is applied on your payment account, it means that a percentage of the funds in your payment account balance is held on an ongoing basis and will not be made available for disbursement, as in they won't give it to you, as available funds for a specific period of time. Now, the reason I think this is happening at the moment is because as Etsy talked about at the beginning of 2022, they raised fees and that they had a couple of things that they wanted to focus on when it came to uh, you know, cracking down on problems on the platform. And one of those problems is resellers. So a reseller, there's different words for it. That's what we've always called it since back when I started, is someone who comes along, opens a dodgy shop and is reselling non-handmade goods. Uh, so this is happening. It's always happened. I'm going to do a video on this because I feel like people think this is a new problem. This is a problem that has been around since the beginning of Etsy. This is not a new problem. It's just that there's more people selling on Etsy now and there's more dodgy people trying to sell on Etsy now. OK, so it seems like it's a bigger problem, but it's always been a problem. So part of I think what they've got going on here is an attempt to crack down on these shops opening and starting by putting reserves on them so they can't just take the money and run when they're doing um, practices that are against the Etsy terms and conditions. For example, they say reserve funds will be used to address potential financial risks such as refunds, chargebacks, claims or seller fees and charges where your available funds do not sufficiently cover such charges. So the idea here is that they're protecting themselves from you just being a dodgy person, jumping on there, making a bunch of money, taking the money and running without actually, you know, delivering the products. So for example, you know, scammers basically who will do this, sell a bunch of stuff, take the money, then shut the Etsy shop and disappear without ever like giving the stuff to the people who've ordered it. So that is one of the reasons that they're cracking down on new sellers specifically. So if you're a new seller, you're much more likely to actually come up against this issue. So let me lay it out for you, the reasons that they will put a reserve on your account okay so they say that etsy relies on different risk factors and whether and how these factors have changed over time to determine whether and how much of a reserve should be applied to your payment account including here's the list how long you've been in business on etsy including how long since you've made your first sale so this is where you know new sellers take note details of your sales including volume and average sales earnings so you've probably seen where people have suddenly made a massive influx of sales that is unusual activity on their account and that might be another reason for them to put a reserve on your account the extent of any backlog of orders from your shop so if you have an unusually large backlog of orders you're not delivering on time you know for whatever reason then they might put a reserve on your shop availability of delivery tracking information so if you're not doing tracking for any of your orders i guess in this case they reserve the right you know if things aren't arriving and people are putting claims in against your account they reserve the right to put a reserve on your account for that reason 
the types of goods you sell, whether they're ready to dispatch or made to order. All right, so I run a made to order shop. So if I got a ton of orders and you know Etsy might determine that they need to uh, put a reserve on me so that they're sure I'll be able to fulfill all those orders and they'll have the money there to deal with any chargebacks or refund claims. Uh, the ratio of cases, i.e. disputes, opened by buyers in respect of your sale. So if you're getting a lot of cases or disputes opened against you, that is going to be another red flag to the Etsy system that they may need to put reserves on your account. Uh, suspensions or warnings already received, uh, estimated delivery times, and delivery status of active orders. So there's a lot there. <laughs> That's a lot of potential reasons for a reserve to be put on your account, some of which are outside of your control to a certain extent. For example, like I said before, you get a massive influx of orders because you get featured somewhere and you didn't you know, anticipate it happening, or even if you did anticipate it happening, because it's out of the norm for your shop, uh, Etsy may decide to put a reserve for a period of time so that you know, they can be sure that they're covered in the case of people, you know, not getting their orders or things like that. Now, you'll remember that just recently Etsy has released the uh, purchase protection scheme. I've got a video on that. I'll put a link to that here if you're not sure what that's about. I think that's a bit combined uh, with this whole seeing an increase in reserves because now Etsy are actually going to be covering themselves some of the missing parcels or things like that that they weren't covering before so i guess this is another way for them to kind of have that money in reserve if they need it even though they should be spending their money not your money so maybe that's not the case but it just seems interesting that that's kind of all happening at the same time okay another point i want to make here is that they also say not just reserves but I'm going to quote here, Etsy reserves the right to use a combination of reserves, deposit delays and holds on your account. Okay, so you might not just be having a reserve, you might find deposit delays and also holds on your account could be happening as well if you are doing something from that list above that looks suspicious in some way to the Etsy algorithm. So what's a hold or a delay? Let me explain. I'll quote again. In some cases, deposits to a seller's bank account could be temporarily delayed by an issue at Etsy, Etsy's third-party service providers or a seller's bank. We'll do our best to communicate with any affected seller as soon as we can. Separately, if we believe that a seller's actions may result in buyer disputes, chargebacks, increased risk of fraud, counterfeiting or other claims, then we may, in addition to any applicable reserve and in our sole discretion, put a hold or deposit delay on the seller's payment account balance. So a hold may be put on funds associated with a particular transaction if there is a dispute or investigation related to the order for the shorter of 180 days after the estimated delivery date or B, completion of any investigation regarding the seller's actions. So a deposit delay is defined as the number of days between a sale and the day the net amount from that sale becomes available for deposit, provided the payment has been completed. A deposit delay may be between 1 and 180 days. It's like a half a year, basically. A deposit delay is applied across all transactions for a seller and the number of days is reflected in each seller's payment account. So all of this information, if this is happening, should be available in your payment account, your dashboard. You should be able to see and they should tell you how long to expect this hold delay or reserve to last for. Okay, so an overarching explanation they have for this whole thing is such. To protect the security and integrity of our marketplace, the users of the Etsy services and Etsy, Etsy may take account level or transaction level actions based on risk-based criteria like the criteria listed below. Some of our decisions about reserves, holds and delays may be based on criteria that demonstrates a seller's ability to fulfill orders in a manner consistent with Etsy's policies. These criteria are essential to our management of risk and the protection of Etsy and our users. Etsy reserves the right to use a combination of reserves, deposit delays and holds on your account. So long story short, this is a way for Etsy to protect themselves and to protect the users of Etsy from losing out on money in some way. It's no fun for us if we're doing the right thing and suddenly we get a reserve on our account for 
what seems to be no apparent reason but i'm hoping that after what i've gone through in today's video you'll see that there generally is going to be an apparent reason for it and that that reason should be pretty clear once you've looked through the criteria and that hopefully there is a relatively quick and painless way that you can solve the problem. Now, everything I have talked about in this video is directly from the Etsy payment policy house rules document. I will link to that document in the description below so that you can go ahead and read to your heart's content and look at the details for yourself so that you have a clear idea of what this whole thing is all about and what you can do to minimize and prevent the likelihood of this happening to your account. Another thing to remember is when you are starting out on Etsy, go read all the rules, like go read not only the payment policy, but all the other rules they have around what handmade is, you know, the rules around listing on the platform, what you can list, what you can't list. It's all available there in the house rules, which you will be able to find the rest of them by clicking on that link and going through and you'll see at the top of the screen there links to all the other rules on the platform. Just remember to follow the rules and make sure that you're doing things in accordance with Etsy's policies, because when you're selling on that platform, you have to abide by their policies or you could come a cropper of one of these problems like a reserve, a hold, or them even shutting your shop down or suspending your shop because you aren't following the rules in some way. Now, if this has happened to you, feel free to tell us your story in the comments below and how you solved the problem. Remember, I am not an Etsy employee. <laughs> I'm not necessarily going to be able to answer your problem. I'm certainly not going to be able to help you with this situation. If it's happened to you, you need to talk to Etsy themselves. I will put also a link below to the help section of Etsy. People seem to really have trouble finding how to contact Etsy. So I'll put a link below that will hopefully help you to contact Etsy quite easily if you need to deal with one of these issues that has arisen in your account. Now, if you want to learn more about how to be successful on Etsy, I've got a whole playlist of Etsy videos, which I will link to right here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as well, because I'm often releasing new videos on how to sell successfully on Etsy and how to sell your handmade, no matter where you sell online or offline as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.